Alright YouTube, this is the one you've been waiting for. To the best of my knowledge, I have not seen any other YouTube pages that have, has done a, an Altoids 10 charger out of the big 10. Um, I've seen plenty of candles, um, other survival kits, silly things like that. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, now I haven't looked that thoroughly, there may be somebody else that did that out there. This is the first that I've seen, which is why I did it. So maybe history in the making here. This is the Road Warrior on steroids. Uh, Road Warrior was the original Altoids 10 design that I saw. Uh, Smith BA, I forget the numbers, uh, is the first one I saw. He called his the Road Warrior. It was a cell phone recharging and he had a bunch of other cool stuff tied into his. I stick mostly to just cell phone charging and flashlights and the like. Um, I had this Big Ten laying around for years and years and I hadn't really thought of anything to do with it. I mean I probably kept all kinds of random stuff in it over the years but then once I came on to the Altoid 10's pro Altoids 10 projects I, uh, I couldn't wait to do something with this guy. I have actually started and not finished or somehow broken, planned poorly, what have you. I've probably done one of the, done something in this thing probably five, six times before I finally got it right. Um, take you, take a look inside. What we have here, there's 24 AA battery, rechargeable AA batteries in here. What it is, there's two sets or three sets of eight set up in parallel, um, which are putting out roughly 12 volts. Um, but what's really impressive about having them in parallel is all that um, milliamp hours that you get just by putting those in parallel like that. So you got quite a bit of storage, battery storage power in this. Um, something else cool I kind of like that I did is I put this on a, a, a switch. I don't know if you can read that or not. It's probably not going to focus for me real well. But um, there's a three position switch here. And on the very top one I have a 9 volt output which if you look right here, it's the bottom USB plug. I haven't actually found a use for that yet. I had uh, plans in mind to maybe try and run a DVD player off of it for like camping trips and stuff like that, but I just haven't gotten gotten around to trying it yet. Um, but there's a nine volt output and then there's, uh, I use a six volt output to recharge phones, which is the middle spot and that would be your, your upper USB plug. And then the last one, is just your basic flashlight which you can see a little toggle switch on the side here um, just like a lot of the other ones I have a big old LED in there um, fun fact about the LED and yes I actually tested this theory I fully charged this and I turned this LED on and I let it sit until there was no absolutely no usable usable is the key word there usable light left this thing sat for about five and a half days before I lost all, you know, enough battery power to actually have usable light out of this thing. Um, five and a half days straight it sat there. So if you're <laughs> if you're really in a pinch and you need a lot of light, look no further than this gaudy monster sized thing. Um, another test I did, of course, with the whole purpose behind it is a cell phone charger. Um, this will charge my phone. It'll get a full charge two times through and then the third time you only get about 30 percent charge so overall you get a 230 percent charge um, on my phone once again uh, for you real nerdy ner nerdy types in there I have the 12 volts coming out of these regulated down to the 9 volt um, and 6 volt separately feeding through this rot rotary switch there um, if you saw the last video I did I have the pocket size version of this, the uh, the smaller can, that guy there, and I used a 7.5 volt charger for this. Well, as I said in that last video, that 7.5 adapter that I had was made for this, where the original was a 12 volt regulator in my Altoid small can. I forgot to mention that in the last video. Um, I have a, a 12 volt reg, uh, transformer plugged in the wall over there, and then I have that kind of Regulated, regulated down to a flat 12 um, to, to charge all these batteries. Now this is where the kind of the downside is. According to the math, um, if you add up all the, the 
current capacity of these batteries and the current output of this charger. It takes around 13 and a half, 14 hours to charge this thing fully. Um, that other one, the smaller one, that only took I don't know, five, six hours, which is a lot still, but I mean, it's homemade, give me a break. Um, but anyways, quick little demo on that, just like the other one, if you saw it. You plug this little fell in right here. I got a little plug right there on the front. You'd be, um, now, that shouldn't have turned on, but nonetheless, turn that on and see you've got two green lights there. Um, if this weren't already charged, that light would be very dim. For instance, when I killed these all the way with either charging a phone or testing out the flashlight option, um, this would be, if not all the way off, it would be very, very dim, and it wasn't until you approached full charge. Again, if you saw the last video, it doesn't work that well for me. This actually gets pretty bright way before these are actually charged fully. Um, so, oh well, it works. I'm happy with it. Um, that's, uh, that's it there. So, that is the, uh, the father of all Altoid 10 cell phone charging projects. It's, it's very, very cumbersome. Um, if you look here, I can't even close it all the way because these things stick out that close, uh, you know, to the ceiling. But I, for what it is, I'm not too worried about it closing all the way because if I have to use this thing, I'm in deep. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this one. This, like I said before, this took me, I don't know, five or six tries. I, I boiled batteries. I, uh, I tried soldering with wires and if that tells you anything that means I had a positive and a negative hooked together and sparks flew um, so many different design trials uh, which you know you think it'd be st pretty straightforward but for what I had in mind it took a while to, to figure out but uh, anyways hope you guys enjoy that uh, again to all my regular subscribers this is this will probably be the last Altoids 10 one I do for a while we'll get back to the uh, the shooting videos of my buddy and I doing our our browning buck marks and whatever else we can afford to shoot at the time. Um, so thanks for watching and uh, catch you on the next video. Almost forgot, just in case there's any naysayers out there, which being the internet there always is, right? Um, does it work? Does it, will it charge your phone? Well, here we go, I'll plug it into the uh, the 6 volt plug, which is the top one there. I've got my switch on the 6 volt switch, and then I'll just turn on the toggle switch. And then your charging thing pops up, charging. I'm at 91%, so it's not like I really need to do it right now. But um, And then this camera will not focus on my phone, but that little line right there is the charging line, or you can see the little battery. You can't see anything, it won't focus on crap. Uh, but yeah, it's all the naysayers, it works. I'm not going to sit here and bore you with letting this thing charge because it takes forever. Uh, I think when I, I had my battery completely dead on my phone and I let this charge it from dead to full charge, it took like four and a half, five hours. So I'm, real, I'm not going to let you guys uh, sit through this. I, can, I imagine I can do like a time lapse video if you're really that curious, but I'd rather not. But anyways, there you go, it works. Um, again, thanks for watching.